Hi everyone, this is Rick Trujillo, Director of Cloud Services Pre-Sales and Connected Workforce at MicroAge. Thank you for taking the time to visit. Today I want to talk about a few things in the world of Microsoft that upon recent release may be causing some confusion and questions around how Microsoft licensing for cloud services will be impacted in 2022. As Microsoft continues to drive focus on management of cloud services and expand the ecosystem of products that are available in Microsoft 365, Dynamics 365, and Power Platform, they are making some pricing and sourcing adjustments. Recent announcements reveal changes in timelines in three key areas. Number one, a price increase with six of the core Office 365 and Microsoft 365 plans. Number two, introduction of the new commerce experience, also known as NCE, which also includes price adjustments dependent on how the customer chooses to purchase and manage their licensing. And number three, customers that qualify for Microsoft Enterprise Agreements with 2,400 seats or less can now consider working with a CSP partner in the NCE program instead of entering or renewing an EA contract with Microsoft. I'm going to dive into each of these over the next few minutes, and by the end, I hope you will be better informed on how you can make Microsoft licensing decisions for 2022 and beyond. First, let's talk about the price increase. Now, the price increase itself is only impacting six core Office 365 and Microsoft 365 plans. They are Microsoft 365 Business Basic, Microsoft 365 Business Premium, Office 365 E1, E3, and E5, and Microsoft 365 E3. Now, the official start date for this price increase is March 1st of 2022. So, does that mean if you are a current owner of any of these license plans that on March 1st your pricing will go up? Not exactly. Let's take a look at a couple of scenarios. So let's say you provision a subscription for 100 E3 licenses at $20 each, and you paid for your licenses all up front. This is called annual prepay. I'm showing an example here of February 1st, 2022, running through January 31st of 2023. Annual prepay costs of $24,000 for those 100 E3 licenses. If you are a Microsoft customer that prepays your licensing for a year at a time, then the price increase will not take effect until your annual term renews on or after March 1st of 2022. So until further notice from Microsoft, you are price protected for the term of that subscription. Okay, so let's say you provision a subscription for 100 E3 licenses at $20 each, and you're paying for your licenses monthly. Whether you know it or not, behind the scenes is an annual subscription. You may notice this whenever you provision licenses or manage your subscription details in the admin center. You're not really obligated to that subscription. You can cancel and make these license adjustments at any time, but if you check your admin center in the licensing section, you will notice that your monthly plans still show a renewal date set sometime in the future. Therefore, the price increase will not take effect on your monthly payments until the annual subscription it was originated from renews on or after March 1st of 2022. In this example, I'm showing the dates of February 1st, 2022 through January 31st of 2023. So you're price protected for the term of the subscription. In the case of Office 365 E3, license pricing will change to $23 per user per month once the subscription renews. You can still add and remove licenses under monthly, just don't cancel your subscription or you lose the pricing benefit tied to that subscription. All of that said, if you provision or upgrade any of your products on or after March 1st of 2022, then you are subject to the price increase right away. So planning is important. Now for the new commerce experience. Now NCE is a little bit trickier, but just bear in mind that the program is different than the previously mentioned price increase. Although the new commerce experience also involves pricing changes, and in some cases both programs do stack. The new commerce experience impacts all cloud products for Office 365, Microsoft 365, Dynamics 365, and Power Platform in that the customer must consider how they want to transact these products long term. There are a couple of options to consider, and these take effect on March 1st of 2022. Number one, you can continue to pay month to month for your cloud products, however this is a true month to month subscription, and there is now a premium for this level of flexibility. A couple items to note is that a 20% price increase will impact these products and the premium is on top of the price increase for the six Office 365 and Microsoft 365 plans I previously mentioned. 
So going back to a previous diagram for the 100 E3 licenses, if you pay month to month under the new NCE program, you pay for the price increase and you're also paying for the premium for leveraging the month to month program under NCE. In the case of Office 365 E3, $27.60 per user per month. That's quite an increase. The way to navigate the premium is to commit to an annual or multi-year agreement for cloud products rather than pay month to month. A couple items to note if you commit to an annual or multi-year agreement. First, you receive discounted pricing on annual commitments. In other words, you are not subject to the 20% premium from the month to month plan. You can pay all up front or still have the option of paying off the commitment monthly. Either way, you're responsible for paying the entire commitment, even if you try to cancel early. Your price locked for the product's provision during the term of the commitment. Just remember that your partner for the subscription, whether it be Microsoft Direct or a CSP provider, cannot be changed during the term of the newcomer's commitment. So please be selective of the value you want in your partner prior to making your decision. Other items to note is that you can increase license counts at any time, but you cannot reduce license counts until the committed term is up for renewal. So again, careful planning is required. You can upgrade products in the committed plan at any time. Work with a partner and follow the steps carefully and you will be allowed to upgrade the plan in your subscription to a more robust plan. Also, if you commit to an annual or multi-year plan under NCE after March 1st of 2022, you're also subject to the price increase for the six Office 365 and Microsoft 365 plans I previously mentioned. Finally, there is now a 72 hours cancellation window for the new purchases under the NCE program. After that, you will be billed without any option for refund for the term of the agreement. One more reminder, if you are currently a cloud services customer with Microsoft, you already have a subscription in place for your products. Whether you're paying annually upfront or monthly, the price increase for the six plans and the new commerce won't take effect until the renewal date of your current subscription on or after March 1st of 2022. Enterprise Agreements. Now for decades, the Microsoft Enterprise Agreement has been positioned and sold as the most cost-effective and benefit-driven program. The agreement does carry some caveats such as long-term commitment, large annual payments, and lack of flexibility. Typically, license reductions are done annually. Still, for a large customer, an enterprise agreement is an important option to consider, mainly due to volume discounts. Now, starting on March 1st of 2022, the enterprise agreement for customers 2,400 seats or less will be price level to match the upcoming new commerce experience changes. That means an existing or potential enterprise agreement customer may not see the volume pricing and other benefits they would have experienced before. Therefore, the relationship and support focused CSP model under new commerce should be evaluated closely. Customers that are less than 2,400 seats can still have an EA. The minimum seat count is still 500 seats. However, it may not be as beneficial as the legacy enterprise agreement model after March 1st of 2022. The official deadline for all Microsoft customers to be fully transitioned to the NCE program is February 1st of 2023. After that date, everyone needs to be using the new commerce program. In summary, as simple as one tries to make it, the pricing and program changes can be challenging to understand and consider. It is very important to consult a partner that carries Microsoft licensing expertise, gold certifications, forward-thinking services delivery, and the willingness to look at options with your benefit in mind. The call to action would be to learn about these program changes quickly, understand the impact on your business, and to consider early adoption of these programs with a reliable partner. So thanks for watching. I hope you're now better informed about some of the upcoming changes with Microsoft pricing programs in 2022. If you have any questions, please consult the MicroH team for assistance. We are happy to meet with you. Thank you very much.